the Charter has done major, major, major things in the criminal justice space. It has given accused people a panoply of rights that they never had prior to that. Rights that we take for granted today. All of a sudden, as citizens, we have certain expectations. But who can rely on those expectations? That's still a conversation that we need to have. I used to be told, always be on your best, 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 best behavior. Because just by virtue of you being black, you're going to attract the attention of the state, the police, border service officers, immigration officers, the boy them. So what do I say to my kid? It's a very, very, very hard topic to broach. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't had that conversation with my son yet. He's 16. How do I say to him that no matter how nerdy you are, no matter how many button-up shirts you wear, no matter how innocuous you dress, you got the wrong skin tone. And that's going to predetermine a lot of what's going to happen to you from here on out. As a parent, it makes you feel powerless. You're just walking while black. Cop stops you. And you, you know your rights. And you're going up against this dude, toe to toe, telling him, yeah. Section 8 of the Charter, everyone has the right to be secure against unreasonable search and seizure. Section 9 of the Charter, everyone has the right not to be arbitrarily detained or imprisoned. Section 15, this man, you discriminate against me on the grounds of race. Okay, cool. Those are your rights. Those are your rights. Those rights never saved nobody on them streets. It didn't save Mr. Loku. It didn't save Mr. Abdi. It didn't save Mr. Carby. They all had rights. Every single one of them. How do, you, how do you have that conversation with your kid? How do you tell your kid that the world is rigged against him? Am I the eternal pessimist? Or am I just being real? Because that situation, I mean, it's less about law, more about just say, practical reality. You're gonna resist? probably don't want to do that. My son's peers, his white counterparts, do you think their parents have that conversation with them before they head out the door to go to school? But again, this is reality, right? I want my kid to come home alive. So it's like, shit, as much as I don't like it, I'm going to have to have that talk with him. Despite your rights, you just gotta survive that encounter because that's the only way you'll be able to invoke those rights is in a court of law. You cannot invoke those rights on the side of the street, unfortunately. I say this understanding that that goes against all of the principles that animate our free and democratic society. It does go against the principles of the Charter, which is a document that is entrenched in our Constitution, the thing that built this country. The 
on the side of the street, you are living in a police state. Maybe you're gonna have to sacrifice your dignity so you can make it home alive. You know what it feels like to be dehumanized? I don't care what remedy a court or a tribunal gives to me, you will never be able to compensate me for that dehumanization. Because the court can't do that. And I can tell you this as a lawyer, the first thing they teach you in law school is that the only thing the law does is put finality to an issue. How you put your psyche back together how you rebuild your community, how you rebuild yourself, that's on you. Your lawyer can't help you to do that, and the charter can't help you to do that. So what do I say to my kid? I don't know. It's complicated. Surround yourself with as many white friends as possible, right? Maybe some of their white privilege can rub off on you. Don't have your pants hanging off your ass or anything. Don't go hang out at the basketball court. Is that what I'm gonna have to tell my son? If you want to avoid the ire of folks in society, you gotta make sure that you don't offend them by being who you are, by expressing yourself the way you want to express yourself. Okay. And I say, no. You should be able to express yourself in whatever way you want to express yourself. Your culture, your self-identity is not an affront to Canadian values. And it's definitely not an affront to the law. You embody the best of me. We just stop. No, you just stop. We just stop. You embody the best of this place. You're my son. You are worthy. And I love you.